Let's talk about class structure and about our activities throughout the quarter. So evidently this is going to be a very different class from the ones you've taken before. And we are going to set out some principles for this class and for this new experience for many of us. Compassion is going to be key to all of our work. Right now our priority is, is focusing on everyone's health on our physical health, our mental health, and we all need to be very mindful of our own health, but also caring for each other and being mindful of everyone's well-being. As such, we will approach all of our discussions and all of our work with um, a degree of compassion towards our classmates and everyone in the class, as we always should. And this is going to be one of the things that we'll be very observant about in the class. We need to be very respectful. Obviously, we're going to communicate in new ways, be it through Zoom chats, through discussion boards, and we need all of our interactions to be respectful. In general, imagine you have the person in front of you. What, what kind of things would you say and do if you were talking to the person face to face and try to keep those uh, that respect in mind? We're going to need a lot of solidarity in the class. We're going to be learning together. This is going to be a new experience. And we need to create an environment and essentially a community where uh, that can be nurturing, where we're all learning, where we, feel, where we feel free to ask questions and to use these questions to enrich our personal projects and our work. As for the evaluation, this class is going to be credit or no credit. We expect you to keep a constant level of work throughout the quarter you know, and to perform several tasks in order to get the credit. The four tasks are the ones detailed below. Each week we will have discussion questions. I will propose a couple of discussion questions and you will answer one of them in our Piazza discussion board and you will also provide feedback to another student's question. That way we'll have discussion going and we will try to simulate the discussions we would have in a classroom. Each week we will have programming exercise. I will propose to you a programming activity, some challenge related to language, and we will try to work through it together. Throughout the quarter, we will be thinking about ethical questions, reading papers on the ethics of natural language processing, and we're gonna have ethics, explicit ethics related activities three times during the quarters. You can find more details in the syllabus. Finally, we are going to have a final project. You're going to work on something that, that you're interested in, something that you're passionate about, and some piece of software that you want to develop that is related to natural language processing. The project will be split in four parts, and you can find more details in the syllabus. Also, if you wish to get a citation in the class, I'm sorry, in order for you to get credit, you need to uh, provide constant work for these four areas of evaluation. And in order to get a citation, you need to provide work that is at an A level in all four areas of evaluation. I promise again to keep the readings uh, down to the essentials so that we can get straight to work. We're going to be using three free textbooks. So the textbook Speech and Language Processing from Jurafsky and Martin is available online. We're going to be using the third edition, an edition so new that it hasn't been finished yet. We're going to be using the draft of the book, and there are some chapters that are not written yet, and in that case we will use the equivalent chapters from the second edition. We'll use an open textbook from Katherine Anderson called Essentials of Linguistics for some of the linguistics parts of the class. We will also be using chapters from the book Language Files 12 from Ohio State University. It's a book that we would usually need to pay for, but for this quarter, it's free and available online. So again, all the textbooks are free. You do not need to pay for any textbooks. Programming-wise, we're going to be working with the Python programming language and with the Anaconda Environment, environment Manager. If you're already comfortable using any other environment manager, if you're comfortable using pip, if you're comfortable using apt-get, you are perfectly, you can continue to use anything you're comfortable with. But I really like Anaconda. I think it makes the installation of packages much easier and it's um, the environment manager I will use during the class.
feel free. We can have more discussion about this in the discussion boards. And by the way, um, I am very familiar with Ubuntu and Windows, and our TAs are familiar with Mac architectures, so operating system-wise, we should be fine. Also, by the way, in case we need it, we can get um, space in the supercomputer or cloud computing. We'll talk about it as the need arises. I'm Rolando. Um, we are going to have two TAs, see how and John. They are going to be helping us mostly with the discussions, and you can ask us any question about the class. So in a typical week, I will send you a list of YouTube videos to watch, uh, recordings like this one. I will ask you to watch them. I will ask you to read some of the, re of the essential readings from our textbooks, and then to participate in the Piazza discussion board with some of the questions. You're going to write some answers, and then you're also going to interact with other students' answers. This way, again, we will simulate the discussions we would have in the classroom. In addition to this and working on uh, the weekly exercises, you're going to do some work on ethics questions some of the weeks. You're also going to be working on your final project, thinking about it or implementing some part. And this is what a typical week would look like. Practically all of the class is going to be asynchronous, but I will have Zoom office hours in case you want to come in and ask questions. To be honest, I haven't defined the time yet because I prefer to talk about this with all of you so we can figure out what times are best. And also during the first week, I would like to meet all of you through Zoom. So I will write a Piazza message where I will leave you, I think, at least six time slots for the first week so that you can uh, put your name in one of them and we can have a Zoom meeting so I can meet everyone in the class. Thank you for your time and let's do this.